live. All right, and we're man. live. All right, Atos Alive podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. And a little new thing if you guys got your drink, or... I did it early. Damn, we're, Damn. Not, we're not in sync. But tell that's us, crazy. There it is, all of you guys. That's Cheers. dope. <sighs> hey, this uh, cherry limeade fire. Honestly, these these Celsius are pretty good. Celsius. I like it. But man, we are live from Washington, D.C., yeah. the capital. That's crazy. What, what brings us out here, though? Look, so luckily we've been represented by an amazing, amazing uh, manager, Miss Joe from 33 Ave. So if you're listening to this, you're amazing. You've been bringing us opportunities. And today we're in Washington, D.C. because we're here for the Argentina. Versus Ecuador game, right? No. No. Argentina. Argentina versus Guatemala. Guatemala. Cut that part out. <laughs> Argentina versus Guatemala. I'm sorry. Cut that part out. Why are we here? We're here because we're keen to watch Argentina versus Guatemala. And yeah, I think we got here a day early, but we took that red eye flight. It yeah, was a good flight, though. It, it was a good flight. We the, first, the first four hours were chill, right? The first the the, first four hours were good, but the, those last two. The last two, no. Like, yeah. Definitely. But honestly, flying in on a red eye gives you opportunity to just be here, enjoy the whole day. The yeah. last time we traveled, which is to Orlando, we didn't take a red eye, so we got there. We lost a whole day. We lost the whole day just flying, especially because we're three hours ahead. Right. So we're three hours ahead, which was, I mean, it was a little tiring, a little draining. But I think this time that we didn't sleep for twenty more than 24 hours, it was insane. I couldn't take a nap. My insomnia kicked in in the plane <laughs> you know, and no sleep was happening. I mean, you, you can't sleep in the plane, though. That's the thing. Yeah, no. Nah, unless you pay for, like, first class or those uh, comfort seats. I mean, I'm like, no, nah, this is not it. I was leaning forward, leaning to the Us side. big back boys. <laughs> big we, were back, big back. <laughs> we were struggling but no i mean again 33 av to so to everybody that's in the social media trying to be in social media make sure you find yourself someone that has every intention to put you first and put you in rooms and opportunities that you know you work so hard for and thankfully blessedly 33 Ave, Joe has blessed us tremendously already. In, in a been that person. In a short time, really. Yeah. Like, it goes back to that quote that you can know someone from 10 years and everything's cool, but you meet someone for one year, less than a year, a month, and that person has done for you more than the person in 10 years has done. Right. So literally, a time from time knowing someone, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't do it justice. justice. It's what kind of value can you bring into the team to your to the room that, that you're walking into and I think that's just what it is. So exactly what it is. We're now in the East Coast and again we didn't want to miss having an episode on a Monday. We did that once in Orlando and uh, people killed, killed us. People us. were mad. Why'd you guys miss that Monday? Damn. We don't miss a Monday. We don't. What that's happened it. to you guys not missing a Monday? Now y'all can't even say y'all don't miss a Monday because y'all missed a Monday. We don't miss a Monday except one. You know what? <laughs> It was a it was a holiday for us. Let's go with that. It was it was, but you know, sometimes we just we just need a break and yeah. I think working and just traveling in general gets you tired. So we're here right right a couple hours before game game time and when those videos are up, make sure you go show love. And then we're gonna come back, take a two three uh, hour nap, and then we're flying back at six hey, in the we're morning. We're at six in the morning. Got to be at the airport at what like four. Thirty was eight and five in the morning. Bro. He said five, but fuck that. My boy misses flights. <laughs> but hey, don't forget, we're here with Jose too. He's just behind the camera right now. He's gonna. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. Hey, hey. <laughs> he made it. He made an appearance. He made it. Usually, like when we travel, when we travel like San Diego and places that we can like drive to, we'll bring all the equipment. We'll podcast regular, but because we're flying and everything. I mean, we need to. He's acting fucking brand new. <laughs> For real. My God. Uh, traveling is just literally we just to carry on our backpack, and so what made it easy is these road these road mics, the camera, and we can't we can't we can't ask for too much. 
We just do what uh-huh. we do what we can with what we have. We just can't miss a Monday. We can't miss a Monday. That's pretty much it. And so one of the questions that you so, guys asked. What, what did you do today? What was, what was the itinerary for the past? Oh, the itinerary. Yeah, yeah you're right. So start when, with, when we, start with yesterday. Yeah, we started with start yesterday. yesterday. So we got in. We got in D.C. about like 9 a.m. Unfortunately, the hotel was not ready. So we went to go have some breakfast, some chicken and waffles. Uh, Jose ordered a steak, pretty alive, <laughs> hash browns, four so eggs, uh, water, orange juice. He ordered the, almost everything on that menu. It was fine. We checked in, and we're like, "Oh yeah, we're just gonna take an hour nap." We're gonna be nah, ready to run. dude. Two that <laughs> that hour nap turned into what? Like maybe two and a half, three hours. Three hours. That was crazy. But. but yeah. It was pretty productive after that. Yes. We luckily where we're staying at, which is in like the con- it says the convention center, but I realized why because the Washington Wizards Stadium, if you don't know who that is, that's the basketball team here for Washington, is literally two blocks down. And close by. everything here is pretty much in walking distance, if you like to walk. I don't. So I like walking, this- dude. No, so we I took like scooters. Walking. So we took scooters. Okay. To what kind of scooters though? Lift. 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 We took, we took scooters from Lyft. I didn't know Lyft had those. They were pretty. A dollar to... What we, it was like $10 just to get... That was like 15, yeah, 10, 10, 15 cents a minute, which was, which was really worth it. We got to the White House, and then we walked for like at least two miles. Minimum. From all the monuments there, from the White House all the way to... Como se llama esa madre? The Washington Monument. The Washington Monument. And, and the then, World War II Memorial, and then the Lincoln Memorial right behind it. So we did all that yesterday. They were like, oh, this is amazing. Let's get a scooter and go back. Yeah, I mean, they didn't want to take a lift. They're like, yeah, no, no, no. So we did that. And then I think it was it was cool. And like I was, to, I said it yesterday, sometimes things in, that you probably never thought would be like a something off your, your bucket list, like a dream come true. And yesterday, walking, being in the presence of everything we've seen was, was just that. Because one... Never imagined, and I posted this on, on Instagram, never imagined that a camera and mics would allow us to have opportunities to be flown out all the way across the United States That's just fast. to be here uh, and embrace everything. You know, where we come, I come from Baldwin Park, South Amani. Uh, Jose is also from Baldwin Park, but resides in Ontario, Ontario, in Ontario California. And just, I mean, three guys that just, you know, we've, been minimized to so much of oh well good we're good for a couple cities around us you know regular flights to like mexico whatever the case is dope but now we have big brands flying us out to what <sighs> literally just go and show the stadium watch a game yeah. things that we would be doing back home maybe mm-hmm. watching it on tv oh. now we actually get to live the experience yeah right literally live games that's insane yeah and and honestly like to be in front of the places, well, these memorials that, one, you read about when you're in school, two, people talk about or you see on TV for whatever the case is, but you're here in person and actually embracing everything, you're just like, oh, snap, like. It's real. It's real. Like, we're, like. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, you read about it growing up, like you said. Yeah. And you're like, ah, whatever, like the White House, ah, the Capitol building, like, no biggie. Yeah. But then you literally are in front of it and you can't just help but admire the freaking architecture like, it's like me. it honestly is. it was a pinch me moment <laughs> yeah. it's like damn so this is what it looks like in person like obviously it looks nice in pictures and mm. on tv and like the books but just seeing it in person just completely different experience that i didn't think like you said i would have even wanted to experience yeah but i'm glad like, to be here yeah so it you know to to sum all that up and you guys listen you know again you guys come to us for motivation inspiration and we post it daily and weekly and monthly but really really like keep your dream alive keep it going like your pay your payback for everything you're investing in which is time money emotions like it's gonna come like we've been at this for three going on four years we've been in LA for two we've done 160 episodes and just up until recently two months ago we're getting rewarded and honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world because if it wasn't for all that that we had to go through, which is all the ups and downs, the 10 views, 100 views, the 1 million views, and back to one or two, it's like all that just made this 
that much better. Like all that just made us love the process because we get to talk about it. Like yo, like it's not always. It hasn't always been all glitz and glamour and and yeah. and congratulations. It's like we literally started at the bottom. And yeah, have, and working our had way to up. work our way up. Yeah. yeah. So honestly, it's it's one of these things where, again, I think this is more of a keep it going. Don't give up on your dream, whatever it is, big or small. Even if everybody says it's not going to work, it's not going to go nowhere, yo, keep it fucking going. No one can tell you what this dream means to you except yourself. And if you're willing to let other people just crash that down and and shut it down, I mean, then it wasn't that important to you. But, you know, my brothers are here Absolutely. and they know exactly how much we put it into all this. And they and we always say it now. One thing will prevent us from from showing up and showing out and being on the other side of the country, even if it's for 48 hours. Hey, 48 hours. I can't ask for more, dog. It's not bad. Yeah. And honestly, like, it's cool. I mean, the city is very, I would say it's very clean. There's there's a lot of things to do. Here. There's a lot a of lot. things. Like, you literally <laughs> walk a block. It's like, damn, what's this building? What, what was crazy is everybody in the park yesterday, in the monuments, like, it's obviously there's a lot of grass. And there was literally a program of all these adults playing Volleyball, baseball, soccer, like a lot of healthy people out here. This is on this is on a Thursday. There's, there's a lot of healthy people. I walked to Nordstrom today because I said, ah, whatever, let's be healthy. Say, nah, I just don't want to take another scooter. I'm gonna be honest, there was none. I tried to look for a lift, one of the scooters here. I said, nah, it's only like a mile. Like I'm good. Um, and yeah. I was walking, and I'm like, damn, there's an Equinox here, literally mm. like a, two blocks yeah. away, and then another block away, there's another gym. Yeah. And then another gym, and I'm like, oh, this is a healthy city. It's a healthy city. This is a healthy city. Yeah. So, I mean, again, that's kind of a recap of why we are in Washington, D.C. And, I mean, just check this out. We made it a priority to record because, like we said, we needed to. It's coming out uh, Monday. So, what is that? 15, the 17th. That's when this is out. Yeah. On the dot. And you guys, we put out the questions within an hour ago, and someone asked. And just ask. Asked. What do they ask? ask? People just love to ask. <laughs> what is something that God did for you this year that you're grateful for? You know what? I, I talked about it, right? I talked about uh, it recently. And although it sucks, although it sucks to have lost my job, I wouldn't have been able to travel to Orlando or been here mm. had I been on my job. Mm. So it's one of those things where it's like, Shit, in the moment, did it suck? Yeah, absolutely, right? But in hindsight, it's one of those where it's like, damn, maybe it was just a blessing in disguise. And, you, mm. and now I'm actually realizing it. Yeah. That's, so I think that's it. I mean, that's one of those things that it's like, I've always prioritized work to where I would have said, hey, I can make it. Mm. And obviously, like, that means I would have just passed up on opportunities yeah. to meet people and obviously, like, been here. Because we did one a month ago, yeah. and now we're here. If I was still working, I would have said, hey, have fun, my boys. I can't go. <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's definitely true. I think that's one of the things. <laughs> yeah. What about you? For me, everything you said, is, it's the, like it prepared us for right now, which I'm very thankful for and, and blessed for. But I think for me, what God did for me this year is he prepared me for these moments of my life that, you know, it's, had every reason and every opportunity to give up. But what he did is he, he prepared me for this war, this battle that I was going to endure mentally and emotionally and gave me this sense of peace that he allowed me to mature through the situations that are happening for me to let go. Like when everything was was falling apart or everything wasn't seem like it was going to pay off or I wasn't moving anywhere. Yeah. Like he just said, hey, let me remind you that what you're doing is is great. It's like, here's something good. To keep you going. Yeah. So let me let me give you this little piece of grace. Like yeah. keep going. Like I'm gonna throw in this storm. I'm gonna throw in this this ball out of left field, and it's gonna hurt, and it's gonna bring you down, and you're gonna want to quit. Yeah. But I'm gonna remind you why you shouldn't. And you know, I'm always gonna say this. Like without God, I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at right now, and to be able to embrace everything that life has to give right now, yeah. which is opportunities, friendships, and honestly, just the beauties of life. You know, waking up in a bed, being able to eat the food that we eat, and just being able to embrace 
everything that that God has has made for th for this world and for us, I can't ask for anything more. You know, it um yeah. I don't I don't want anything else than what's just meant for me. Not a penny more, not a penny less. It's just I just need what's mine. And, por favor, God. Pero por favor. Send us some pennies. <laughs> hey, <laughs> como de, como I mean, si, hey, como, I mean, just the ones that are meant for us, but como dijo nuestra let's comadre the Jackie, process, my boy. You know, what is, como dicen sus papás, he's like, a veces Dios ahorca, pero no aprieta. No, aprieta, pero no ahorca. Pero no ahorca. Dios aprieta, pero no ahorca. Pero a veces Dios, te estás pasando. Casi me desmayo, güey. <laughs> I was about to pass out real quick. Casi me desmayo, no yeah. Calmate, por favor. <laughs> no more battles. It's like, I'm not trying to be one of the strongest we're soldiers no more. I'm tired we're of fighting. Halfway, we're halfway through I'm here. I'm a lover, not like, a fighter. Whew, trying to catch my breath, and as hard Honestly. as it is, you know, when, when you're plus size, you know, it's hard to catch your breath. <laughs> plus size, plus huh? Plus size? Plus size modeling, fuck it. <laughs> Why let's not? Give it a, let's hey, give it a brands, chance. reach out. Reach out. Hey, if the bag looks good, I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> 10 big, bands, 50 big bands, big, big bag. bag. Big yeah. Bag, big bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to, oh, I'm going to have man. the pleasure of having Jose in for the next couple of minutes. Cause we have a, I have a good question for Jose. So, All right. so for all the photos, all the videos that are very highly edited and makes me Pepe look good, even though we know we don't look good. <laughs> This is a man. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday, how many pictures yesterday did we take? Dude. And with three hours of being out. We took 700 photos. Out of the 700, I had, had to do like, like 300. So now I'm looking through another 400. <laughs> and then the ones I just took right now that like, in front of Pepe, like I'm doing those right now too. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> and if you're going to enter, you know, a world where it requires constant work, daily work and consistency, find yourself a group of friends that are willing and enjoy everything that the process has to do with. So find people that are ready to go to war with you. It's going to be tiring. It's going to cost you sleep. It's going to cost you your mental health every now and then. Yeah. But as long as y'all show up, you can take over the world. And that's it. 2024, we're running for president. So 2025, we're going to run for president. 2025, 2025. But... The reason why I wanted Jose on this is because he's not going to hold back. He's, <laughs> he's the one that just kind of says it how it is and sometimes hurts our feelings. Back, but back. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, check this out. I've been hooking up with my cuñado's cousin on and off for the past two years, and no one knows because he's 10 years older. No, it's not a catch a case situation. I was 20. He was 30 when I first started. Damn. <laughs> not a catch a case. <laughs> I thought... When you said 10 years old, I thought you were going to stop. I was like, hey, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> bro, your cuñado's cousin. Damn. What was that advice? It was just a confession? No, just oh, a confession. Okay. Just a confession here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, at least you got it off your chest. I mean, I know you wanted to get this off your chest, but damn, for two years, how do you do that? How have you not gotten caught is my, like... It's like when you have family parties, hey, is your primo coming? <laughs> How does no one like catch on to this? Isn't just a cuñado like a brother-in-law? Yeah, your brother-in-law's cousin. Yeah? yeah. What? Well, what if that's her that's her brother-in-law? So she's dating the brother. Wait, is that incest? No, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 bro that's crazy for two years yeah no Man. for sure fa family galleries are exciting huh, for you you guys <laughs> you guys yeah. will be disappearing for like an hour or what <laughs> oh how about we forgot something at the store we'll, we'll get it we'll, yeah we'll go get it we'll, we'll get it don't worry oh you guys need that <laughs> let, let me just think someone real quick <laughs> hey el primo Thank el primo God. se la rima Bro, that's exactly what happened there. Oh, that's terrible. Nah, I mean we put the we put it pretty uh, quick on Instagram, but I mean how I asked Pepe, what did God do for you this year that you're grateful for? I think it put me in a position for me to really chase what I enjoy doing, mm. and it kind of reinforced that feeling because. Yeah, I enjoy taking pictures. Yeah, I enjoy working out. Yeah, I enjoy coaching and stuff. 
But realistically, if it didn't pay out, metaphorically speaking, and actually money wise too, yeah, I don't think I would be. I'll keep doing this, but I wouldn't be able to do this without him giving me opportunities to grow and to actually um, make a living out of this, right? Yeah. Because yeah, we're here half cross country, but well, I mean, it's a business trip. And then same thing with my clients, I'm helping my clients out and it's all online and I'm still being, being able to do what I love and it's something that I'm able to maintain myself too, right? Yeah. So I feel like he's presented me with a lot of opportunities and I'm grateful for God, you know? Yeah, no, it's definitely that. It's just when you're able to monetize off of something that you truly love. And, you know, we started off doing it for fun, but had a purpose. And luckily, blessedly, it's one of those things where down the road, because we keep, you know, perfecting our craft as much as we can, it's just, hey, there is monetization out mm -hmm. there. But again, you have to do things right. For a long time, I didn't do things right and thought, hey, success is having all these people around us, success is making it look cool for social media. And realistically, learning the hard way, it's not, it wasn't. It's not that. Yeah, it's not that. You hard. can have 100 people around you at your gathering, celebrating whatever the case is. But when shit hits the fan and all that glitz and glamour isn't there anymore present, like you're going to realize who's going to still be there. When yeah, you have yeah nothing at the offer. time, we would have needed a bigger conference room than this. Yeah, we're going to take two rooms <laughs> yeah, on this. Yeah, we needed the whole hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, this is more than enough. Yeah. I mean, again, all you need is three three people to go and take over the world. I mean, the bigger the production goes, yeah, we'll add more people. But everybody needs to align correctly what are our morals, our goals, our ambitions. The and hustle. honestly, the hustle. If you, you cannot teach hustles to anybody. You cannot teach work ethic to anybody. That's the one thing that everybody needs to realize is that there's some things that could be taught along the way, but there's specific things that if you don't got it, your work ethic, yeah, your work ethic, you gotta, you gotta want to want it, want it. Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, you gotta want to want it. <laughs> yeah. Like you literally have to like, you gotta have, you have to have mental strength. And, and the more you go, it gets better and you start reinforcing it. And, you know, it's just like any muscle. You work it out, it gets stronger and better. But you cannot teach, you cannot teach ambition. You cannot teach work ethic. You cannot teach passion. Yeah, like, passion. realistically, like, if you don't have passion for whatever you're doing, it's not going to work. You cannot half ass it. If it's one of those things where... Uh, you're tired today. We we had three hours of sleep. We could have been like, dude, don't want to. Dude, I took a, a two minute nap before this. I did not want to get up. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't. I don't want to. I was like, I don't want to get up. But it's <laughs> yeah. again, that's how they said. Like, show up on the days where you don't want to show up. You feel like you have nothing to offer. You feel like you have no energy left. Mm -hmm. You're mentally drained, emotionally drained. Everything is done, but you said, I still need to be there. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. So you know, going to the gym. One place where it's gonna it's gonna test your mental strength on there. The day where you don't get enough sleep, the world is crashing down. Are you still gonna show up for yourself, not for anybody else, but for yourself? One hundred percent. You got to. You, you gotta. You gotta feel good, and the only way to do that, you gotta work on yourself and feel good within, or else yeah. you really just can't. You can't even function in, in your job or in the real world after that. Yeah. But you gotta take care of yourself. Yeah. So it. Again, today's, today's hard, just like any other day. It's fucking life. It's going to be good. It's going to be bad. It's going to have its hard days and its good days. But are you willing to show up for yourself? Not anybody else, yourself. Yes, we could do it for our moms, our dads, our sisters, our siblings, our persons. But at the end of the day, like if it's not for you, you know, how are you going to keep on moving on? Yeah. Primarily, do it for yourself. You need to. That's how you can take care of everybody. But if, that, if you're not there right now and you're struggling with that, Find someone that you love and truly love that you'll do it for and you'll show up for them. Because if you can't even show up for them, then don't even say those three words. Because it mean, it goes a long way. You got to love yourself before you can love someone else. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. He's locked in. We're locked He's in locked right now. in right now. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, laughs> no. Tic Tacs. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Those tics are the Dude, he's been going, he's been going <laughs> through a whole box of Tic Tacs <laughs> within one day. Bodybuilders are in the fitness world. You guys know what I'm talking about. Tic Tacs are the life that just, that just kills your fucking number or what? Yeah. Zero, so by, zero so by calories. Two boxes each. <laughs> zero two calories. Boxes each. <laughs> just start munching on it. Or just drink caffeine. That also kills. That <laughs> <Your> or... <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I had like two this morning too. I mean, we're gonna die one day. <laughs> might, might as well just might help ourselves well on it. this one. Might as well enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah, no, exactly. Like, ah, love yourself. That's point blank. You can't say it anymore. There's no more words to say. If you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. And if I, right now you're struggling with that, look, sit it's down. A, yeah, it's okay. You just gotta. If you really want to love yourself and change, you really need to reflect on what's stopping you. You know, sit down, write. If you're a big writing person or trying to find some healthy habits to break that cycle, hey, write everything down. What what is going on? What is wrong? And start crossing out the things that you cannot change, and the ones that you cannot change, let it go, let it be. A big weight will be lifted off your shoulders, I promise you. Because there's a lot of shit that I want to change. There's a lot of shit that I know all of us that are hearing this just says, you know what, fuck this. I want to change this, 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 this. But you got to understand that you cannot control everybody's emotions and how they react to certain things. You cannot be responsible for people's emotions because you're going to get tired. You care about everybody else. And then by the time you're done checking in on everybody, you have nothing left to check on yourself. Then what do you do? You just, oh, well, I'm just going to rest up. You resting up and not taking care of you, you're putting yourself to lose and to lose yourself mentally, emotionally, physically. And then, again, who's going to save you? You know? See who's going to be there when, when nothing is going on. And, again, this is why surrounding yourself with the right people will make your life a lot easier, a lot better, and a lot, a lot, a lot smoother, so. Yes, sir. <laughs> on it. You ready to read? I want you to react to this. Okay. You know, I love quotes. Again, quotes go a long fucking way in your life. It's something, if you hear a great one, it's something that you, you remember in a situation, whatever it may be, whatever is best fitting. But this is a good one because forgiveness it, is a motherfucker. It sometimes it's very hard to forgive someone that did you dirty. It's very hard to forgive someone that hurt you and caused a lot of pain in your life. Oof. But this is a good one. I am a very forgiving person. So if I stop talking to you, you really went too far. That's it's true. Cause I feel like me personally, I, I give everybody, everybody gets a first chance. And then, even then, for the most part, I get. You acting brand new. You acting brand new. Sorry, 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 sorry. Fucking delete this part. That was, was over. crazy. Delete the shit. I'm over it. That was crazy. Sorry. You get a second chance, my boy. So you <laughs> fucked it up. So fuck. Thank God, forgiveness. Thank God, I'm a forgiving person. Because if not, cut. Cut. That's true. No, it's true. Um, yeah. What about you? What are your thoughts? Yeah. Because I, I, I've known you. I've known your ass. You give first chances, second chances, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Especially if you love the person. If it's one of those people that you really love, you give those motherfuckers like 30 chances when they should have not gotten 30 chances. Because we feel like love is, is going to win and it, that person is going to change. And So now my I, question is... Why do you love those people when they're clearly showing you that they don't love you as much or respect you as much? I think because at the beginning, that person shows me what I wanted, right? They're okay. giving me they're giving me everything that I wanted, whether it's time, they're making me feel, you know, worthy, of course. reassuring me. Time that we're spending is amazing. But as time goes and I and as time flows, people show the true colors. Okay. My my idea of giving these these people a chance and staying there and and letting them hurt me and not show up for me the way I need to on and off is just me thinking if I show up for them they're they're going to 
to change or they're going to go back and this is going to get better. So me doing that is I don't ever want to feel like I didn't do everything I possibly could and then be blamed for leaving. Because, again, if I leave and I give up, what's it? Oh, you gave up on us. Oh, you see, I always knew you were going to leave. Oh, you see, you never cared enough. See, but that's because they don't say... Gaslighting. Yeah, <laughs> super gaslighting. People don't say what they did Definitely wrong, Definitely gaslighting. Right? Yeah. There's always what? Two, three truths? Your truth, that person's truth, and the actual, the actual truth? truth. And yeah. It's crazy. And then it, this is going gonna, gonna, gonna to hurt, but to tie this in, and, I, and this is what made me... This is what has granted me peace now letting people go because as much as I want you to be here and as much as I wish you could be here with us and be in my life, I already know it's, it wasn't, it wasn't going to work. So what made you realize it wasn't going to work? I, knowing how life is now and how at peace I am. Because when I'm trying to search, when I'm trying to keep this toxic person in my life because I feel like I love them and, and they're the world, and now seeing that life, life is here and how life is going, I'm much happier. Okay. I'm, I don't have to worry about everybody else. I'm letting things be. I cannot change how people feel. I cannot change how people are going to react. So one thing that really just, it's sad when I heard it and it said, stop looking for you and other people. You is very rare, so you're not going to find that in other people. So even then, stop giving, stop giving expectations to these people that you know they just can't show up for you like that. Fact. So that's just what changed is I needed to understand that I, I cannot expect you to show up for me the way I want to. So I'm going to have to be okay with that. And as much as it hurts, as much as it sucks, it's okay. Life keeps going. Life, I'm going to keep going. And if for that reason, that means you're not there in my life anymore, then it's okay. Cool. Just got to keep on going and keep moving on and it happens. You know? So now I, I read this. It says, being alone will always be better than being with someone who doesn't value who you really are. What are your thoughts on that? Being alone. Being alone will always be better than being with someone who doesn't value who you really are. Yeah. Yeah. Being surrounded or being with someone that it's just there to take from you. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather save my, I'd rather save the hurt. I'd rather save time, energy, emotions to, to give to somebody else that's actually gonna know what, what they're getting and that's actually gonna value it. Honestly, I, I love you and it's cool, but I know it doesn't mean anything to you because they tomorrow you can turn around and act like I was nothing. And I rather I am at that case. I rather be alone than being surrounded by a bunch of fake love. Damn, it sucks. It's gonna hurt you. I don't get hurt. Men are just like books. Many would judge the cover. Some will open and read the contents. Only few would would reach the last chapter. Damn. Okay. What are you? <laughs> Damn. Damn. You never know. It's facts. So, yeah. You never know That's what someone go through. That's the thing. I mean, let's let's be a hundred percent transparent, right? Mm -hmm. You first look at the book and the way that it looks to see if you even want to read it. Then obviously you start reading a page, then a next page, and then the next. And obviously, if that book is worth reading, you finish it. You reach that last chapter and you hope there's like a sequel to that book. Yeah. You know? Yeah, judging is very easy. Everybody judges. Yeah. But nobody takes the time to learn what a person is really like. Or, or what it took for that person to even show up and get out of bed. And that's true. I mean, you don't know what that person went through if you never even start reading the book. If all you focus is on the cover, you ain't never going to see what that person or what that book is about. Yeah. Hey. That was... That's crazy.
that hit the that hit the corazón. To tie this in with the to tie we're this in, in we're in this already. To tie this in. Losing some bonds changes you completely. You stop trusting people, you stop talking to people, and you become emotionless. Like everything just stops hurting you. Who said that? Somebody that got hurt. That's coming from that's coming and from. And I think pain. that applies if you're really just a cold person to begin with. But if you love hard, it's just one of those things where it's like you can see it and you can just turn off completely and say, forget everybody. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually just use the experience or like that love that you were giving that somebody mm -hmm. to the people that you actually love now. Mm -hmm. It's like just because somebody did me dirty doesn't mean I'm going to stop loving everybody altogether. Yeah. You see what I'm saying now? It's like, all right, cool. You didn't appreciate the love. Perfect. I'm gonna give it to the people that actually deserve it and actually want it. Yeah, don't don't bring that hurt into somebody else. They're not. They don't turn the cold. Cost. Don't yeah. turn cold just because somebody. Yeah. Did the, you dirty? What you put out to the world is what's gonna be given to you. And Facts. You're gonna get people that hurt you. You're gonna get people that disrespect you and and cannot value your love and your loyalty to them. That's just part of life, though. That's just part of life. Not everybody is the same, and. If you enter the room, if you enter the world with an open heart and, and you don't change, again, we've said it before, don't change who you are. You're loving, exactly. you're caring, you're amazing. Just change who you're giving it to. Not everybody will care for you, for you and what you're able to give them as somebody else is. So if this person hurt you and wasn't able to cherish that, hey, it's okay. They weren't meant for you, but don't change who you are. Continue to be that person. Just find the right person. And if, Facts. and if for whatever reason it just doesn't work, take the lesson. Take the lesson that that, per that person taught you. So Of course. You know, when someone isn't for you, God will continuously use them to hurt you until you are strong enough to let them go. Damn. I don't know how I feel about that. Damn. Wow. I heard all it. Too. I know, so I don't know how I feel what about else that. Else is. I don't know how I feel about that. Nah, this is even harder. Nah, fuck you. I was good enough, but you made me feel like I wasn't. You made me believe that I wasn't. Damn. See, that's, that's what a lot of people Let do. Let them go. You have to because. Then you're just fucking with your own sanity, dude. Yeah. Like at that point, it's one of those things where it's like, and it sucks because a lot of people place their value on other people. And I think the sooner you realize that your value is just your own, yeah. the easier it is to not care about what other people's opinions matter. And I think it applies to everything, right? It applies to friendships, relationships, jobs, careers, whatever the fuck it is. It just applies everywhere. Yeah. When you place value your own value in other people's hands, you give them control over you yeah. and how you feel about yourself. And that's, that shouldn't be yeah. right. I mean, that shouldn't be the fact. The more you're surrounded with people that feed you that negativity, the more you start to believe it. You say, why, why is everybody telling me this? Maybe I am this. No, just change your environment. Change the, change the people you're, the people you're around because you are not them. They're coming from a place of hurt. They're coming from a place of not wanting to see you smile and win and be valued. So they're going to knock you down because the truth and reality is a lot of people in your, even in your circle, whether it's your own relationship of telling you you're not worthy enough, you're not good enough, you cannot be this or do that. It's because they know if you enter that, that space, they may not come with you because they are not able to be in that at that moment in time with you anymore. They may not be able to control you any longer. Because you're going to outgrow them. And that's what a lot of people are scared of. So what they do is they just try to keep you in that circle because right now I can control them. Right now I'm a big part. And hey, but don't ever let someone dim your light. You shine everybody else, everywhere else, but you just got to change the room. And never, ever, ever. Settle for less just because you're lonely or feel lost. That's all I'm going to say. Damn. The wait is well worth it. Damn. There's one. All right. We're almost done here, boys and girls. So 
appreciate everybody listening in. And there is a quote that, again, shit just happens for a reason. And there was a quote and it says, it's three simple life rules. Number one, if you don't ask, the answer will always be a no. Number two, if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. And number three, if you don't step forward, you will always be at the same time. So go after it. Ask the questions that, that you need that you need answers to. And go after your dream, whatever it is, big or small, you go after it. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Go get it. Go out. And that's how it is. Remember, missed opportunities hurt much more than rejections. So just go for it. Damn. That's good. That's good. I mean, Jose, you have a quote for us too? I know you did. I know you did. I'll step out. I'll step out. Simple quote. <laughs> a little quick quote. But um, I usually try not to like see it. I like to think of it in my head, but I really like this one. I don't, honestly, I, I use it all the time. It's uh, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. And that's from my good boy, Albert Einstein. Mm. <laughs> uh, to, uh, just take things always into like learning experiences um it's never it's never a bad day if you can learn from something you know yeah we're just going off quotes then this cold episode like always uh it's gonna hurt and it's comes with a lot of maturity and realization but peace comes with a lot of goodbyes that's true it's just hard to let go sometimes. You don't you don't want to see what life looks like without that person, and you can because you never imagined it. That's true. It's like the grass isn't green on the other side. Yeah. You just have to water it so it can be green on your side already. Yeah, and I mean, just taking it like metaphorically, like an anchor on a ship. You know, you cannot move forward because you still have it there, and sometimes that anchor could be your family, your friends, your relationship, but. It starts moving faster when you start letting go and it comes to the to the goodbyes. And yes, it hurts, and yes, it's gonna suck, and you might go through a little a little cycle of, of depression because you're letting go of a, what mm -hmm. used to be a big part of your life. But I don't like saying goodbyes, I like saying I like saying see you later. It's been a long day. <laughs> oh, nah. I'm about to start weeping with that song. <laughs> Oh man, but I think in, in all sums is find yourself it, the right people. You know, sh shout out and you, this is coming from, as I have my guys here, this is coming from my personal experience, but you know, I want to, I do want to thank my, my best friends, my friends, my brothers, because without them, life would have definitely been a whole a, no, a whole other thing that I can never imagine and life to be able to enjoy this moment of life this chapter of my life with the right people with my guys you know I couldn't have asked for anything more so my boys I appreciate you guys so that's coming from the from the corazón dog <laughs> from the corazón and again it's just finding yourself the right people change your environment if you don't like where you're at right now and Stop giving a fuck about what others think. Yeah. Stop giving a fuck about how others feel about what you're doing or how you're doing it. It's okay. You're not supposed to be liked. You're not supposed to be loved by everybody. It's going to be some unhappy people along the way, whether it's because the way you're doing it or because you're shining in what you're doing. So you're not responsible for how they feel or how they're going to react. So don't worry about it. You worry about you. Stay in your lane. Blinders on the side. Mamanos. They're gonna talk about you either way, like regardless. They're gonna talk about you either way. So what's the point of of you stressing? Oh, what are they talking about me? Why are they talking? About, they're gonna uh, do it either way. Yeah. <laughs> so this is episode one sixty one. It was. It's been a beauty. It's been good. We gotta go because we need to shower for the fourth time today because it's <laughs> musty out here. Weather. It's, it's it's a good it's good weather. It's just really hot. It's, it's so humid, hot. bro. It's humid. I was lucky to bring shorts. My boys are wearing pants, 
But we had to head out because I think we have an hour drive because we're going to the Commander Stadium. So if, if you're a football fan, you should know who they are. I know. I understand. I think by the time this drops, uh, you guys will see we were already there. Yeah. Just know we're telling you again. <laughs> our supporters, our day ones, we love you guys. We appreciate every single one of you guys. From the followers to the likes to the comments and even the negative comments. To we the appreciate you guys to the views. Hey, we love you guys. And without you guys, we would not be here. So hope you guys like the episode. Next time we'll be back in the studio in a more controlled environment and kind of a little bit more slower pace. We're not in a rush, but hey, we did this for you guys because we dropped the 20-minute episode. You guys didn't like it. It was too short. <laughs> this is not 20 more minutes. We got it, but appreciate you guys. Episode 161, Etos Alive Podcast. We out. Yeah. All right, let's take those like single thumbnails. So that was super easy.